Hello everyone, guess who it is again? Your favorite Las Vegas realtor. I need to think of a better intro, but for now, you know what? It gets the job done, right? Today I am over here in Sky Hills, touring Val Ridge by Pulte Homes, a newer community. They have three different floor plans to choose from, but only two are modeled, and these are larger homes. They're good size. Um, this one is the San Remo. And this one was also modeled a long time ago at Sterling over in the Stonebridge Village. And the San Remo is 3104 plus square feet with four beds, two and a half baths, and a three bay garage. Starting price as of today is $638,880. That could change. More likely, if it does change, it will go down and not up because of the way the market is going. I like this little courtyard area. So the HOA is $47 a month for Valridge and $55 a month for the Sky Hills community. And um, there are SIDS on this, in this community. Let me see, get my sheet of paper. It's $288 semi-annually. So you walk in, you have this little den area. And then you have this back here. Let's see what this is. The garage, a half bath, and Okay, so this is a flex space that the tandem garage was converted into, I do believe, from what I remember the last time I visited this community. Um, so in this community, right now, when the market was crazy, Pulte, Toll Brothers, Taylor Morrison, they did a lot of what's called quick move-in or spec homes. Because the market was so crazy, they couldn't keep in demand with all the people buying so to stay ahead of the game they specced out a lot of homes and also to get the the supply chain issues um, to make sure they had everything in order so when they did this let's go this way they created a lot of inventory so a lot of these builders have a lot of inventory that they need to get rid of by end of year and they're offering a lot of awesome incentives in order to get rid of them um, even discount prices, like the one community I was at, Talvona, the agent was telling me that they took off 100000 They put 100000 in upgrades, but they also reduced the price by 100000 So pretty much you're getting the upgrades free and selling it at base price. In essence, that's what she was saying. So these incentives, there's two types of incentives going on. I asked the agent if you can use them interchangeably. She was kind of confused because one just started. But the first one is offering at 4.99% interest rate. And when, ooh, I like that. 4.99, but you have to buy a spec home or a move-in ready home that has to close on or before December 31st, 2022. And um, a lot of these are, some are gonna be ready in September, some are gonna be closed in October, some close in November, and some are closed in December. So she showed me all the homes that were available, and like I said, there's 18 homes ready to buy. And a spec home is something that's already been, all options have been selected and you can't change it. I like that they did the two color, the island, but this color and the gray to me does not, I don't know, I don't think this is a good combination. If this was white, um, quartz countertops with these cabinets I think it would look 100% better and then still kept the gray like this that way it's more of a contrast because this gray with that wood does not look good to me yeah the white would make it pop 100% and this is extended as well and that's extra I like this table though very nice I'm looking for a new table I like this house I like black mat with the natural woods that's open the beautiful fireplace that's an upgrade the big sliders are upgrades pretty much when you buy new construction um it, the house usually comes with just carpeted flooring and then the bathrooms laundry and kitchen are tiled everywhere everywhere else is carpeted if i were going to spend money on a house i would definitely spend it on flooring that would be the first place i would spend my money on I would make sure too that the other living areas would have tile or laminate or hardwoods and the only place that had carpeting would be bedrooms ideally if it were me i would make sure there's no carpeting whatsoever and just use area rugs so 
So here's the primary. It's pretty big. I like these little seating areas that these have. Wow. That's just ridiculous. I would have much rather have a tub and a shower. But a lot of people don't take baths. But this is nice. The double sinks. Um, this looks like a quartz countertop. Or it could be a cultured marble. It's interesting that I would have thought that the bathroom was would be that way. That's interesting. Okay. I like this openness. It's always nice to have a loft as well. So here's the rest of the bedrooms. We have a bathroom here with the beautiful cultured marble, double sinks. Love these cabinets. This is your um, generic builder grade tower shower tub insert that comes with the house. Um, the only thing that would be an upgrade is the black matte fixtures. Those are upgrades. And then you have a bedroom here. Good size rooms. Let's see, this room, house is 3104 square feet. And then it looks like you got a couple more bedrooms. Yeah, all these rooms are good size. It's like a queen size bed. Two nightstands, a dresser, good size. And one more, same thing. Oh, this one has the bathroom. Love it. Very nice. Love the black mat and that, beautiful. Okay, well, to surmise, this is the San Remo model over here in Val Ridge by Pulte in Sky Hills Master Plan Community at 3104 square feet with four bedrooms, a den, two and a half baths, and a three car garage. If you're interested in buying here, give me a call at 702-370-5112. I sell a lot of new construction here in Vegas. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.